So, hi and welcome back to another episode of The Vote Guys. Um, if you remember last time, we started doing some real world scenarios of getting a simulated uh, call from uh, the outside world coming mm -hmm. into our system. Mm -hmm. Uh, and what we're going to do today is take that a little bit further and uh, simulate uh, making an outbound call from inside our system to the mm -hmm. outside. Mm -hmm. So, Matthias, how are we going to do that? We reduce the world to one person <laughs> okay, and say outside there is only one guy with a telephone mm -hmm. and that's enough for our simulator. Fair but enough. you can understand the concepts then very yeah. well, I think. Yeah. And it's not so confusing, maybe. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, then we just cool. go ahead. Again, on the console, we just edit our um, dial plan again. Here, as we last time introduced, we have the incoming context. We have that one number. You can dial it from outside and then it calls the 100, which is my phone. Mm -hmm. from inside. Here on the side are um, our soft phones. Mm -hmm. This is my phone, you, your, your phone, James, yeah. and the one person living in the outside. <laughs> 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 yeah, but that's enough. Yeah. Um, and now is the question, um, if I want to call somebody on the outside, where to put it? Mm -hmm. Where to put the dial plan lines? Yeah. Um, so I could just have the idea to put it in the same context phones. Okay. Yeah. Because I could say, if somebody dials that external number, mm -hmm. then please uh, call that zip peer. In right. our case, it's just a zip peer. In uh, the real world scenario, it's a zip provider which can reach yeah. every number in the world. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. But there can be a reason why this is stupid. Because right, right. Um, maybe you are not allowed to call another country. Right, okay. Maybe you're not allowed to call your girlfriend because yeah. you're calling her all the time and yeah. wasting yeah. work hours. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Never. <laughs> um, but there could be something like this. So there could be a reason why you restrict your internal people mm -hmm. or phones for the outside calls. Yeah, the top ones would be international calling and probably premium numbers or something. Premium somewhere. numbers yeah. or something, yeah. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Makes yeah. sense. And um, it's more secure and you have a kind of firewall mm -hmm. between or a rule set mm -hmm. between your internal users and the outgoing calls. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. So you could just put it into the phone's uh, context because mm -hmm. you say everybody is allowed to do everything mm -hmm. from my users so I don't have to do big decisions. Yeah. Um, but you'd lose an element of control there. Yeah, you should always have at least three contexts, an incoming context, right. an internal, in our case it's called phones, phones yeah. and an external or outgoing context where you just put all your calls to the outside world. Okay. That's a good basic setup. Yeah. So Sort of a best practice there. Yeah, yeah right. So we introduce our new context. It's called outgoing. And there just exists one number. I made a lot of mistakes last time we tried this. <laughs> so maybe. Better I get it right this time. He has a very simple number now. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the only um, existing number in our whole world. And we say if somebody dials that number, then we just call outside. So outside, in our case, is just a peer represented mm -hmm. from that soft phone, but normally it would be your SIP provider. Yeah. Um, if I now try to call 8888, then it just searches, if I use one of the internal phones, mm -hmm. it just searches, is 8888 available in the context phones? And it isn't. Mm -hmm. So the call would just stop. Right, okay. Yeah. So this is your kind of firewall, I, I told mm -hmm. you. So what we need now is another go-to statement as here, yep. that we can say, if somebody dials blah, 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 then he is allowed to dial outside. Okay. And then we dial that number outside. Okay. So I'll give you an example. If somebody dials 8888, then we jump to out going 8888 first priority so jump to the context mm -hmm. search that number and dial outside 
Aha. We just give it a try. We have, as always, to save the file. Start the asterisk console. Say type plan reload to get our configuration live. So now, if I am internally and dial 8888, it should call the outside. It does. You can see this is the telephone of outside. It's a little small, yeah. but this mm -hmm. is the telephone of outside and James is calling. Uh -huh. In real world, you would see just the number of James because yeah. the name gets lost mm -hmm. on its way to the provider. Yeah, of so, course. But yeah. you can imagine that. I think what you also can imagine is that this is not, no, not dial exit. <laughs> <laughs> um, what you can imagine is that this is not suitable for the real world, because in the real world you have many numbers, yeah. not only one. Mm -hmm. And it would be a big deal to define every number in your dial plan. Yeah. So there must be a trick. Okay. There must be something where you can um, use something like placeholders. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the secret is there are regular expressions in asterisk which right. you can okay. use and where you can say this expression fits to, I don't know, every number in the world. Uh -huh. so and you can work with some variables. Okay, sort of one size fits all type thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sort of. Yeah, sort of. Yeah. A little bit more complicated. But mm -hmm. we will see. So our next uh, topic to talk about in our next video is regular expressions in asterisk and how to use variables. Okay, there you go. You have it from the horse's mouth. That's what we'll yep. be doing next time. <laughs> sort of more advanced dial plans. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Bye. Take care. Bye.